Kotlin's nested classes are easy to create. Inside of another class, you can have another class to create different types of hierarchies. However, there are times when you would like to access instance variables and methods and so forth inside of a nested class. So let's assume the steering wheel, we wanted to print the brand name. So we would say brand of car is the brand of the car a vehicle with a boom name we'll call it the steering wheel. We'll call it with leather. Say say leather with a leather steering wheel. Now notice we have an error here. Brand is not accessible. The reason for that is by default nested classes are do not have access to the member variables of the outer class. If we want to do that, we need to specify that this is an inner class of vehicle. So vehicle has an inner class and the inner class can now access these variables. So you can see brand is the brand of vehicle. So let's go ahead and get rid of this. And then we can say Fiat is the brand vehicle info. Now we see here the steering wheel is the constructor of steering wheel can only be called with the receiver of the containing class. Now what that means is because steering wheel has access to the member variables, it's going to be, it's gonna have a, carries a reference to the outer class, meaning that we can't use the actual class name vehicle. We actually use the app to use the instance because steering wheel is gonna carry a reference to it. So we have an instance of vehicle here, it's called vehicle. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this because it's the capital V, which is the class name. I'm gonna go to the lowercase V. Now, if we wanna just change this and call, you know, my car, we could do that. So it's called my car. And now we can say my car dot steering wheel. And then we're gonna actually see, it's gonna create an instance of the steering wheel class. We're gonna say steering wheel dot info, which is right here. And if we go to info, we'll see it's printed off the brand of the vehicle. And let's go ahead and run this. And what we will see now is that when it runs, it says Fiat, Fiat is the brand of vehicle with leather steering wheel. Now, since the transmission is still a nested class, we cannot call my car dot transmission. So the reason for that is it's a nested class. If we wanted to create a transmission, we would have to say vehicle, vehicle dot transmission. Now, if we wanted to make this a inner class, of course, we'd slap on the word inner. Now, of course, this is not going to work. We have to use an instance because the transmission is going to have a reference to its outer class. So in that case, the when we create an instance of transmission, it's going to ref, it's going to keep an, a reference to the instance of my car here. And that's how you create an inner class, which can reference an outer class in Kotlin.